Good, so two more questions about the area of a triangle. Yeah, so I've explained uh, all the basics before. Yeah, these are a little bit more advanced. In that, well, in that way, you have, just have to use your brain. Yeah? Because what do I see here? It's a, an isosceles triangle. I'm uh, analyzing the situation. Because the area of any triangle is a half AB sine of C. So if that is seven, that is seven. And I cannot calculate that one. Yeah, but it's important that A and B are not teammates of that angle. But the angle they give me is a teammate of this seven. Yeah, but then you should be telling yourself, yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, uh, I don't stop here because I saw sleeves that makes that one 55 degrees as well, and therefore that top angle is 180 minus 55 minus 55. Yeah, so minus 110, so that will be 70 degrees, okay? But it shows that you really, every time, have to ask yourself these questions. Yeah, that, okay, well, A, B, sine C divided by 2, yeah, but A and B and that C, they cannot be teammates, okay? So, if this one is 7, that one is 7, I need to have that angle. Oh, I can find that isosceles triangle, no problem. Okay, so now I can start times 7 times 7 times the sine of 70 degrees we said beautiful question I have to say so 7 times 7 times 0 0.5 times the sine of 70 and you give that correct to three significant figures 23.0 let's say those are centimeters yeah, otherwise you could say 23.0 units. Don't forget that zero, eh? it's part of the three significant figures. It's a significant figure on that side. Okay, next one. Hope you can read that. It's a, well, not a right angle triangle. 13, 16, but now we're gonna find the angle. And they give me the area. They say the area is 40 centimeters squared. And let's just presume these are centimeters too. So the area is 40 centimeters squared. Well, no problem, yeah because AB sine C yeah, times a half is the area for any triangle. And let's write that down first, and then we can analyze. Well, if the area is 40, let's write down 40 equals a half times AB sine C. They cannot be teammates. Well, this angle and those two lengths are not teammates. That's good, because X, his teammate is here. And we don't care about that one, so that's good. So times 13 times 16 times the sine. Well, let's replace the C now by X. Yeah, agree so far? 40 equals. Now, uh, a half times 13 times 16, eight, uh, 80, that's 104 times the sine of X. And now I divide both sides by 104. So the sine of X equals 40 divided by 104. It's getting a little bit messy. I apologize for that. I will just continue here. Okay. Um, the sine of x equals 40 over 104. So to find x, I have to do the inverse. Yeah. 40 over 104. And grab my calculator. Shift sin. 40 divided by 104. Make sure you close those brackets now. And it tells me 22.6 degrees, yeah? one decimal place for an angle. So that would be my X, you see that? Beautiful. Area of any triangle, you don't need that perpendicular angle anymore. It's a half times A times B times the sine of C. Beautiful. Any questions, don't be shy. Just send me a message and I will help you. No worries. I'll see you later.